Hello gang, welcome to the channel and today we're gonna go through the crafting event and the most efficient way to get Cassie Lang and go through here totally free, not spending anything because she's a buy subscription character, you can pick her up for free but I'm gonna show you how I'm going to build here 100% free and I'm not need to go to spend. Also we're gonna see the easiest way to farm uh, the crafting event stuff and what you should pick up from the things you can get and how you can use the tokens you're getting uh, these pink particles basically you're getting uh, through your daily crafting and what else you can go and mix it up but before we go there I want you to make sure that you have smashed the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and also comment down below in the comments what are if you are going to build Cassie Lang or not. I'm gonna tell you my opinion also on Cassie Lang and this is the review of her character also. I'm not gonna use her, she's tier 2, I'm not gonna play something with her, you already know that. See seems to be a bad choice to pick up and build full on but yeah let's go into the crafting event first and pretty much they drop this it's only for seven days so you have to be careful and you have to see that there is only like not a lot of stuff i mean there is the selector of uh, titan record and that thing need 50 eats there is the mega rank up ticket and that's for only two times so you can pick up only two box here you can pick up only one ticket here and you can pick up one tier 2 selector from the tier 2 selector there is multiple characters worth building because I mean it's only tier 2 selector so you need the tier 3 also after you build that but with this one you're skipping the part that you need the bios of the character most of these characters are free basically i think all the characters are free so just go there and coach up with someone you wanted to build in generally doesn't really matter but the part here is that you can craft daily only 10 of these pin particles i used uh, the max and the max it's five so you can spend these totally useless clear tickets and get 10 of these so you either want to go full on crafting and only crafting day by day take your 10 use it for these chests these chests got some really juicy rewards you know if you're lucky and you get five star artifact a uh, four star artifact it's really cool you know other than that the rewards here are pretty you know basic and I mean you can be lucky and get something like this you can be unlucky and get something like this but yeah it's something free it's crafting event so you don't we don't have to whine also the other way you can go through this and get some pin pin particles it's going through the dispatch mission and play your dispatch you know progress through and you can get here multiple of them if more you play more chances you have to get some of course i guess the the easiest way to farm them it's in the highest stages where you have more chances to get uh items you know here you can get also cdps and p cards and audience blessings so i would suggest you to go here and farm something into after uh, stage uh, 7 I think yeah after stage 7 you can see there is a chance for CDP so yeah give yourself some chances to get a CDP so play after stage 5 stage 7 and get some of these that's only if you actually need anything from the crafting event me myself I'm going to farm a bit but I'm not gonna I'm not going crazy for this or this. I mean, I already have multiple tickets for uh, going my character, you know, from rank 1 to rank 6, and there are not that many characters to go and spend them on, so there's no, there's no reason for me to go and craft it. 
but for the books it's they are always useful so i'm gonna make the books probably and i'm going to tier 3 electra is the only tier 3 i don't have in the game right now so i'm gonna pick her up after i get these books i guess i'm thinking about it uh, but yes, this event feels like you don't really need to c do something, just play some dispatch mission, just do your craft here and you can pick up free chests. So let's see our luck here, if we're gonna get anything and yeah, you know what, I'm not gonna change any channel, I just wanna see... Okay. I thought it's all three but it was only one so guys change of plans if you wanna get a maximum chess you can get daily three you can play you have to play these spots I thought you can get away with that but as it seems you have to play these spots so from the next uh, eight hours left until the daily reset I'm going myself to play some these spots so yeah go farm these spots to get some chances to get anything from this chest, you know, if you want to get anything, go farm this patch. And now for my girl, Cassie Lang, the uh, uh, easiest way to go and pick her up, you know, instead of going into buy a subscription, it's go here, play the normal one, uh, you don't need to buy the legendary bottle, and as you, as you enter this stage here, the game is gifting you one star Cassie Lang. Also, there is uh, this thing that you can spend 2,500 crystals to get here only to 6 star. That's totally garbage, you know, you don't want to spend that many crystals for a character to just go uh, 6 star. So, Castle Lang provides you some stuff, you know, in the game. Uh, but do you, want, do you really want to have here? I mean, it's only up to your account and what level of progress you have done with the support characters and with uh, the characters generally in the game. But in my opinion, this character gives you a low support and no really a leadership. And yes, the fact that she is tier 2 and you can't awaken or do anything with her makes her a skip 100% for most of the people but me myself I'm gonna just for collection uh, you know I'm going to use uh, I'm going to show you the best way to go and uh, tier 2 here you don't really need anything you have here like one star here you're going dropping a six star mega rank -up ticket or a two star a three star four star five star six star normal rank -up tickets but because I, I already told you that I don't need them, I'm gonna use that. Hooray, I have here, 6 star. And after that, you don't really need to go and level here up. You don't need to mess with anything. You just want to go here and slap a mega tier 2 ticket. Because if you don't do that, you want to go and buy here BIOS from the BIOS subscription, which is, you know, pay for a character that is only tier 2 it's totally stupid in the game that there are tier 4s tier 3s and awakened characters but yes I have two tickets I'm not seeing anytime soon in the future we're getting another tier 1 that's uh, another character that you can use it you know perhaps one more so I'm gonna keep one and I'm gonna use the pre last uh, mega tier 2 tickets I have on here uh, but yeah, why not? Let's give her some love. I saw the movie. The movie was great in my opinion. Cassie was fun. But yeah, uh, only for that to tier 2 here, uh, it doesn't really worth it. Uh, but yes, it's ready. You don't really need to spend for mastery. You don't really need to spend for uh, her, how it's called? For her levels, you know, as soon as you have here uh, tier one, as soon as you have here six star, you can slap the mega tier two and save yourself all these materials. Of course, after you need to go and fix your skills too, uh, but that's something you can, of course, skip if you're not going to use here. You can skip using, you can skip leveling here skills. 
she's totally you know legit playing without uh, having her skills because Sadoland can be done with level one skills for sure and she feels like a only Sadoland character okay I'm not gonna uh, fix her even more here uh, but yes in my opinion that was a huge miss even worse than Mubaku and yes I don't feel like she deserved my time to go spend and showcase how you should play with her on any game mode I mean yeah probably you should do 3 cancel uh, 4 cancel 5 and let's see her skills basically I just make her tier 2 let's have some let's have some let's play with my new toy basically that's all and yeah she's dropping oh yeah that thing she dropped in the movie okay yeah okay so something like this I guess 3 cancel 5 cancel 4 3 cancel 5 cancel 4 feels the best way to use here basically oh there is this bubble okay so 3 delay cancel 5 into 4 okay she got some future I mean if she gets anything anytime soon look at this this is so sweet you're doing a delay cancel 3 into 5 into 4 and there is multiple hits going on delay wait here to drop down 5th skill 4th skill and look at all these hits she feels really nice to play to be honest uh, but no no, no, no. I, I'm refusing uh, to net marble to go and play with Castellan when she is tier 2 character. I mean, this is disgusting, bro. This is disgusting. And yes, so, cheap Castellan, go spend your tickets. There is no way we're gonna get multiple characters in the very next update. At the moment, doesn't feel like at, at least. And also, crafting event. Guys, play these spots spent like uh, some energy daily to have your molecule chest, molecular chest here ready daily. You need to do three of these. You need to craft this also. You have only five to craft. And of course, something you should pick up. It's the Titan Records. The rest, it's up to your account. I'm not gonna skip this. I'm not gonna spend for them. It's not expensive. Basically, it's worth like half a tier 2 character, just the, the button you're pressing to tier 2 him without spending for his bios. So yeah, it's worth doing, but for people missing tier 2s, yeah. That was it, I'm looking forward to drop content for Modok and for my Ant-Man as level 80. He's really close as you can see, so in the very next video I could do some Ant-Man. I've seen a lot in my comments asking me level 80 Ant-Man against the other level 80s. But guys, if you, if you haven't seen the movie, I'm not gonna spoil it for you, but for your own information, this boy here, this boy here made me almost cry in the end. I was feeling like... This dude, guys, this dude, yeah, believe it or not, Modok feels, feels as a good guy in the end, and it's really funny, it's really funny, I, I really liked him, basically, I really liked him in the end of the movie, and I almost cried on him, but yeah, I'm not gonna spoil anything, uh, just that, see you into the next, thank you for being here, kisses in your faces.